Okay, this is a tour of my apps on the iPhone SE. The first thing some of you might notice is that the background is the default for the uh, iPhone 5C. I liked it, so I just left it there. So the top row of apps is things that come with it, uh, as is the next row. Um, here next to the bottom, we have Waze. Um, Waze is good if you either need information for speed traps or like a lot of cartoons and like to interact with others, it's best used by a passenger. Um, if you actually have to get somewhere, you're better off with Apple Maps, which is over here on the right. Uh, Soar is one of those apps that has to do with flying that doesn't happen much now. PDX bus was for a trip to Portland that was over a long time ago. Another app that's on here is the COVID tracing app. Um, it'll tell you if you were near someone with COVID. And of course, you have to remember to bring the phone to do that. I just went shopping and did not bring it. So uh, again, you have to have it with you in order to use it. At the bottom, I have three apps that I use the most. There's Safari, which is a time-wasting device, though so occasionally it's useful to look things up. The phone itself, and then text messaging. I don't use email on the phone. Um, here's the next screen. So we have uh, the apps at the top are from Apple. Shortcuts is a thing where you can write a little program to open an app all the way into the part that you actually used, haven't used it yet. Translate is something that came with the operating system that they added. Lyft, again, that was for a trip uh, we took before, haven't used it in ages. Defaults are more of this stuff from Apple that I never used, but I didn't take off. So you have stocks and the watch and so on. And there's uh, the mail and the iTunes store also have the app store above it and to the left. Uh, the middle row, Tivoli Radio, is some international radio stations that they curate that sounds really good. Uh, the QR reader. Google Maps is another good navigation tool, but for whatever reason, it tends to heat the phone up. Tune in radio on the right, I used to like, um, but it just has way too many ads and they come at really odd times. Uh, RTVE is uh, the national broadcaster of Spain. RTP Play is for Portugal. And then the W, it's a radio network in Mexico, uh, which is quite good. If you get that one, make sure that you know what you're getting because there's other stations and places like Colombia that, that have the same name. Music. Um, so here we have the iReal Pro, which I've used at uh, jam sessions. It's more like, it's good to look at the chord progressions, but if you listen to it and try to play along, it's more like the iReal Jazz, uh, iReal Lounge Band. Uh, it doesn't sound very good. And the Garage Band, which I never figured out how to use on iOS. So that's closed. Then we have Flight View, which is good for tracking flights if you're at the airport. TriMet Tickets, that's Portland again. Then another store for Apple, the Apple Store, should probably put that in the defaults. And then Gas Buddy, which is good for trips, but we haven't been on those uh, either since uh, COVID started. And then, uh, let's see here. Then over here, we've got Clips, which is another one that they put on iMovie. I uh, don't know how that works. Uh, Dropbox, I have an account, but it's not logged on here. Extras or other default kinds of things like the compass, which I've used. Find My is useful. You can find uh, people you're in contact with or a device if you lose it. Voice memos is good for recording things, even music. It works really well, but I don't use it a whole lot. Uh, then we have Aero Mexico which is good for checking tickets and boring boarding passes and stuff like that. But um, again, that's not happening. iTunes University, um, haven't tried that. 
YouTube is it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's a good app, but you can just as well watch YouTube through Safari if you don't have the app. If you do have the app, it automatically goes to YouTube. Radio FM is a lot of international radios, kind of like tune in with, without the bloat. The decibel meters over here at the left. Uh, next sports, um, these three here are all uh, Vietnamese content, which I'm currently learning. And then over here, we have some default apps that are from Apple. They put them on automatically. So Keynote, I guess, is their PowerPoint numbers would be Excel and Pages is their version of Word or their answer to Word. Uh, not sure if they're any good or if anyone uses them. I left them on because it's easier than taking them off. And anyway, that's a tour of the apps on my current iPhone SE.